<sighs> my, hey there, hi there, hello there, everyone. Here I am. Sorry, I think I'm one minute late because why wouldn't I be? Um, how is everyone? How is we? I was uh, finishing a post for Patreon and I wasn't paying attention to the time because that's what I do. I don't pay attention. How is this? Oh, that's a little better. Uh, I'm doing this from YouTube also instead of StreamYard, so the quality of the video should be a little better than it usually would be. And um, wait, I think I need like cloth. Looks the same. Um, but yeah, how's everyone doing? How is the, how are the people? If you hear my niece and nephew downstairs and they're doing, I think it's like that karaoke dance thing. So if you hear like, and, and says them. Oh my gosh. But I, I've, I haven't been on to like just chill and chat with everyone in a minute. So I was like, let me do that tonight. I, I scheduled a chill chat moment a week ago because I actually set this up like five days ago. Am I seeing the chat? Is there live chat? Oh my gosh, there is a chat. I'm sorry. It was set to something else. Yaz is here. The cinema with James. There's another James in here. I'm excited for when you launch your reaction channel. Does this look blurry to you guys? Wearing a Halloween shirt. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. What, what else would I be wearing? Um, I don't know why this looks blurry to me. Is it blurry to you? Or is it just... Esteban, latest trip to the archive. I got... I, I've just got piles of things now. I... Um, it was good. There's never a bad trip to the archive. I had a couple things in mind I wanted. They had none of them. But uh, I still got some stuff. They have a lot of tapes for a dollar. DVDs were buy to get one free. So I actually stocked up and got a lot of stuff that we're going to use for the giveaways um, for like our next give raffle night, raffle giveaway situation that we're going to do. Does that seem a little better? Uh, uh, the Cinema James. The Cinema James has been awesome with like, chatting and engagement and stuff like that. So I'm really excited how for when like his page says like this will be a reaction page. So I'm excited for that to actually get started. Jonathan found you from your Elvira reaction. Absolutely loved it. Oh, thank you so much. That that reaction was with one of my best friends, uh Kara. And she doesn't do horror, but she's always like, I could I could watch something with you. So that was like Chef's Kiss, a perfect introduction. Uh, to having her on the channel. And then we, her and I did Practical Magic. That was fun. And I'm working on having her come back for, because I'd never seen this movie, uh, Monster Squad. I, I feel like if we keep it horror comedy adjacent, she's in. So, and then maybe someday we'll do the Elvira sequel, sequel if people think it's worth it. But welcome. Thank you for jumping in. Um, Cinema with James says, I'm working on doing reactions to movies and music. Oh, music is good. Um, currently posting community, sharing some things in the meantime. Smart, smart. Build a community before you even like get the page popping off. Wish I had known that. Um, James, love your April Fool, Fool's reaction. Oh, thank you. I caught a few minutes of Winnie today. We'll finish after you're live tonight. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, I am. Um, Winnie the Pooh. A couple things have changed, if you haven't noticed, like with the from the Patreon to youtube and and what crosses over and what doesn't cross over because it, it got to be too much to keep up with not keep up with both so I, I can keep up with both but it, it was too much to have them connect and i thought it'd be easier to have them connect and that was wrong it was very wrong so what i realized is i'm gonna do on youtube what i want to do based on what time of the month like mother's day father's day you know a new movie comes out like we're gonna do um the new movies the new stuff um and then Patreon is specifically the full length versions of all of those and movie requests. That's what Patreon is going to be or what it is right now. 
So if you go to Patreon, you have a full length, uh, you know, the full length versions of all the reactions that are already on YouTube plus movie requests. So let me see. Oh, and I, I had a blast watching April Fools. Didn't have a blast watching Winnie the Pooh, but I think it made, I think it was a good reaction. Like when I was editing, I wasn't like mad that I was watching it again. Sometimes I'll edit a reaction and you have to watch the movie over and over and over. And it just makes me like miserable having to watch it again. And I didn't have that experience, even though let's not, don't get it twisted. It's a bad movie. It's not good. Um, National Lampoon class reunion or student bodies are comedy horror cheesiness. Like, like are the actual, well, National Lampoon, National Lampoon class reunion. Never heard of that. Let me put it on. Is this the right list? You hear the music? My niece and nephew are here, like I said. They're listening to music and doing like karaoke things with Kara. National Lampoon class reunion slash student bodies. I'll look them up after. Uh, oh, see, so the sequel to Winnie the Pooh is more entertaining, but still not great at all. Damn. So is it already, it's out in theaters, right? Is it in theaters or is it streaming someplace? Yes, a student body is a classic cheesy, campy 80s slasher. The breather. Wait, is that, the breather, is that a quote from the movie? I'll have to watch it. Don't tell me. Someone let me know, is my vision going or do I look blurry? Because I feel like I look blurry. But I also could just be having a stroke. You know? Either one. <clears throat> but what's everyone like doing? What's everyone up to? I again I haven't had a, like a like a just like a chill live stream in a minute. Do you have a filter on? No. I won't even know how to do that from here. Edit. Um, customization. Because this in StreamYard, there's like a like a filter you can add if you want to. I don't know how I would even do that from here. Altered content, automatic chapters. I mean, sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, a comment. Yeah, I don't think I can have a filter. I don't know how. Wish I did because I would, but monetize it we're not monetize i'm not monetizing this thing whatever um walking my dogs right now you got to do what you got to do i do you are you just listening or are you watching too i um i listen to a lot of lives so uh when like horror hour or um chances house of horror damn it i always forget i talk with my stupid hands and this thing goes off um, but I will just listen to the lives, like, cause I can't always, um, be paying attention visually, but sometimes on my way to work, I'll be like driving to work and I'll put on someone's live. There's actually a, a live interview I wanted to catch last night, um, uh, from Peter Anthony, who's like a writer, director, producer. He does, he did a fan film, uh, Friday 13th fan film. He's doing his own independent film now. And I was pumped, but I couldn't find the link. And then by the time I found it, it was too late. So. I'll listen to those kinds of things. Uh, my two babies watching, listening, trying to multitask. Oh, we got to send, well, send, I need to see these, these children. I love Daniel Hellish Scout. Oh yes. My friend always tells me to listen. And we listened to one of their episodes um, on our way to Jersey last month. Cause we went to the CT horror, CT horror fest. No, that's in September. We went to monster mania, a horror convention in Jersey. And on the way, we listened to one episode of them. And then we also listened to like one thing that he chose, which was them. And one thing that I chose, which was, um, how did this get made? I love that, that podcast. How did this get made? Um, uh, we listened to both of those, but it was funny. It was interesting because scout is like directing a movie. So she was stressed. That's the episode I listened to. Um, yes. Post a picture of these babies. I want to see just puppies. I did have notes. Did 
there we go. I'll just put these off to the side because I'm like, I know there is some, like, I don't, there's nothing like, there's no agenda for tonight, but there are definitely things that, oh my gosh, how in case we get to talk about them. Because I'm, 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 wow. Thank you all for dealing with me with in March because nothing happened in March, right? That was fun. I, I'm realizing I need to like take a month off twice a year. So last year I took off August and you all were very, I was very upset that I had to take off August, but I mentally and physically just could not do the reactions and work and everything else. But taking off August meant that September, October, November, and December were like bomb. So I had time. I was caught up on reaction. Like I, it was great. Stupid. <sighs> that way. Um, so after the holidays, it kind of got to that point again, and I was not able to catch up in January, February, March. So I think I, I'm next, knowing now, every January and August, y'all won't see me. I'll still do lives, but I won't have reactions. That way I can get caught up on filming and editing. And then when February, March, April come, like y'all will have your reactions. No one's watching stuff in January anyway. Everyone's like, in a food coma or the new year or whatever. Oh, but one thing I'm I'm working on now, I was kind of working on this stuff last year, but a lot of it fell apart. It was more like uh, collabs and stuff. So, um, oh my gosh, Peter Anthony, who I mentioned before, he's the one who directed Roseblood. You ever see Roseblood, the Friday 13th film? I've mentioned it before. He directed that and he's directing uh, another movie coming out soon. And I want to have him on and he wants to come on. He, I don't do interviews. So like, I feel like we just talk about movies or something, but I'm, I'm trying to do some collaborations with him. Um, uh, my gosh. Uh, ooh, ooh, have you all seen Halloween stocks and Halloween stocks too? Those are, I guess you'd consider them fan films, but they feel like just regular short films, but they are set in like the world of Halloween and Michael Myers is stalking people. They are really good. And the um, director is Dominic, I'm guessing Benoit, is that you pronounce it? Um, it's not Benoit, you know? I'm going to have him on at some point. Again, we're, I mean, I'm, I don't do interviews, so I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. Uh Chances House of Horror. Uh, we're gonna do a watch. Some we're trying to work on figuring out dates to do a watch along together, like he just did with Paga. They watched a Creep Show together. So we're looking at some cheesy '80s movies that we can watch, like at the same time. Um, and I was just on an episode of Tape Heads United. So if you're not already like following that, see, you should follow them. They're on Instagram and YouTube. I, besides doing these movie reactions and watching movies, I collect the movies, but I was never able to uh, get my movie collection to translate to YouTube. So I'm like, Instagram is specifically for my movie collection. This is how it has to be. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, please do. And that's my movie collection. You'll barely see a picture of me. It's just my, my movies for the most part. Um, but he actually started a podcast that he's promoting on Instagram, but you can watch it on YouTube and it's called Tapeheads United. Tapeheads because we collect videotapes. And um, in case you didn't know. And uh, I was episode one. So you can watch my dumb ass on there talking about VHS tapes and stuff. But he's doing a season one and then he's going to take a break and like work on some stuff and then do a season two at some point. And it's exciting. So if you love videotapes or collecting movies, Esteban, I know you're in here. You should definitely um, check. And then I think that's it for collabs. Back how back last year, I was talking to Taka a lot and we were trying to do something for the horror hour. And he had me on live once. It was very impromptu. I feel like I must have blew it. I must have blown it because um never, never asked me again. So if that becomes a thing, that'd be fantastic. Because I love them. Um let me see. I can post uh, ba, 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 not an August birthday month. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll still do the lives. So I'll wish you happy birthday. We'll sing you happy birthday in August. Um, I've heard of them. Say, yes. So I don't know which one you were saying when you said you heard you heard of them. Tapes, tape heads 
United is by his name is John, but he also goes by Wicked VHS. So if you're on Instagram, he's also Wicked VHS. <gasps> Speaking of Chance's House of Horror, pew, 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 Chance just dropped in. I was just saying that we were talking about maybe trying to do a thing. Maybe trying to do a thing. Maybe we're trying to do a thing. Hi, Jeffrey. Hello. We got people. I'm keeping it very chill tonight because I. I literally just talk too much. Like I just talk so much. Um, Chance says no maybes. Someone screenshot those receipts. Chance and I will be watching the movie sponsored by uh, Monster. <sighs> What's everyone up to tonight besides watching my dumbass? Do we have any um, ow, movies and such that we're watching? Oh, someone said, how was your trip to the archive? And I didn't like show what I, the thing is it's all mixed up now. I got some tapes and some movies where I went after the archive was Walmart because they have the steel books now. <clears throat> and I got a couple of those. Actually, Chance was just watching with Pugga, the uh, creep show. I got the creep show steel book. I think it's down here somewhere. I have like, I've been slowly trying to put stuff back into my collection, but now I've got too many things. So I have no place to put them. <clears throat> so there's like a pile on the floor. Um, oh, and then I, the reason I'd gone to the archive was for visiting hours from 1982. Chance, yeah, it's a steel book. I'll get it. I'll show you. But they didn't have anything I wanted that day. Then I went to the archive. So uh, when I got home, I was like, well, I have to just order online then. So I ordered it online. That arrived the same day that a couple tapes I ordered in a claim sale arrived, which also arrived the same day that my vinegar syndrome order arrived. So I look like I just spend all my money on these things when I swear I don't. It was one, two, three, four, five. There it is. Is this it? This was vinegar syndrome. Oh, and then creep show. I want to show chance. If you notice, I'm going to the floor because that's where um that's where everything is. So this is the steel book. I almost didn't get it because I have it on DVD, and I was like, well, maybe I'll get the steel book or I'll get the um like a Blu-ray or something. Like I I haven't seen this movie in a long time, so it was not on, on my like list of priorities to purchase. But then I I sent a, like a picture to my my buddy, and I was like, "Oh look, Walmart has this," and he was like, "You better have fucking gotten that that creep show steel book." And I was like, "No." So I'm back the next day, and I got it. So I got that. It's a 4K, tons of bonus features. Uh, what I got from, let me see. I got these from Shout Factory. This came too late though. I wanted to post this on Instagram because I'd watched the movie on YouTube, right? I like to, that's the only way I try to connect them is if you see me post something on Instagram, I likely just watched it on YouTube. But April Fool's Day, uh, Blu ray. That's cute. Uh, but this, so um, one of my Patreon. Um, requests was for this movie and I never even heard of it before and it's like not available on disc anywhere except as this double feature so I guess I'm gonna have to watch this movie called Bad Dreams but Visiting Hours? Damn. It's an exclusive full-length reaction on Patreon now. It will end up edited on the channel eventually but I've got too many other things lined up but I loved it like immediately loved this movie so and then from uh, Vinegar Syndrome you catch up. Hey James. Hi, Diff. New to your channel. I've watched the majority of your vids. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thanks for keeping me sane. -ish. Yeah, no, I had to. <laughs> keeping you sane through insanity. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to have to double dip. Yeah, 4K. Yeah, got the collector's edition on regular Blu-ray. That's the thing is sometimes I get a Blu-ray and I'm like, do I need a 4K? But I'm a sucker for a steelbook. I'm in my steelbook era now. Uh, Cinema James says, I always watch my reactors before bed. Always relaxes me, especially Alanda Parker. Parker, Parker, sorry. It, it speaks volumes that anyone that I speak to as like a reactor or someone on YouTube, they number one, know who Alanda Parker is. 
And they number two love Alonda Parker. I, it, I, it speaks volumes to her character because I mean, I've never met her, or spoken with her, you know, um, it was only till I think it was only recently that I think Nick says boo said that he got to meet her or he was going to meet her, but he was messaging her and stuff. I, um, I just love her. She's so, she always starts off very positive. I love that she never used to watch horror movies and now she's like in it. She's like Texas Chainsaw remake. Give it to me, you know? Um, creep show is iconic. Visiting hours is awesome. Scott. I loved it. I loved visiting hours. <clears throat> and it's insane. I'd never heard of it before. Interesting. Had I heard of that one? It's, it's got Michael Ironside in it, but I won't say a single other thing about the movie. It was just way better than I, I had expected it to be. <gasps> blockbusted videos. When I, well, everyone here knows blockbusted videos. It's a ride or die. When I, um, was saying that I, we went to Jersey and we listened to an episode of, of talk scary to me. That was his blockbusted videos. Alanda is queen or king, her both. Uh, she's just a bundle of positivity, yes. Uh, hi, Daniel. Glad you enjoyed visiting hours. I am so jealous you have. Um, oh, Bad Dreams, though. Been searching for that. Yeah, I, I don't know if that is on its own as well or if that's only in this double feature situation, but uh, this is the only way I could find it. Visiting hours had its own release, but not in this territory. And it even said, like, two of the four, like two of the four discs won't work or one of the two, like there are several discs involved for some reason. And they said like, it, it's not going to work like FYI. So I was like, well, then I'm not going to do it. And I got this instead. Mr. Bones, what have you missed? Probably nothing. Uh, absolutely nothing except um, Chance's House of Horror is here. So uh, now I can die. Um, I was talking about some collabs I'm trying to do at some point, but you're going to have to watch this back to, 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 to actually I'm trying to watch uh, chances house of horror and I are going to watch a movie together at some point. We're thinking may, I think we said may um, we're looking at like, you know, some sleazy eighties movies that we can throw on. And I was showing off some stuff. Oh, this is the stuff that I went specifically for to the archive. Uh, and they didn't have it, which is adorable because the archive is the storefront for vinegar syndrome, which means they should have, every vinegar syndrome release and they did not have the two i was there for uh which was rabid grannies which i've never seen but i'm just a sucker for like a slip cover and like look at this so i'll watch it at some point rabid grannies and uh this which y'all have talked about before on these lives and i was like i don't i don't think I want to, I don't know if I want to watch this. And it was mentioned enough times. And I actually saw this at uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I'm sorry. I saw this at the archive once. I saw it at Vinegar Syndrome's tables that they have at all the horror conventions. And then when I was at the one in Jersey recently, I met up with, for a little bit, uh, Reaper of the Films. Follow him on Instagram. But he's a crazy movie collector. He's fantastic. Awesome guy. But he was like, you have to get Killer Condom. Just get it. And so I went back and it actually wasn't there. I went back to the table. It was there on Friday. It was there on Saturday. It was not there on Sunday, the day that I went for it. So I had to order it through Vinegar Syndrome directly. But it is Killer Condom. I can't even show this for like more than a couple seconds. That's, I'm going to get flagged. But I will watch this at some point. And then because I'm, I don't know, I just want to spend money I don't have. I got Primal Rage. What's it about? I'm guessing this thing. You know? Those in the archive. I'm sorry, archive and or online. Um, Chance says May for sure. Anyone remember Movie Gallery? Yes, I think I still have like my Movie Gallery, um, my card. Uh, let me see. Have you watched and reacted to Eden Lake? Hendrick? It's so funny. Well, I guess it's not so funny, but it's ironic. When uh, earlier I said I had to take a month off last year, I took August off and I like recouped and and I caught up on some filming and some editing and just like chilled and, and whatever. My last reaction before I did that was preset because I did a bunch of polls uh, on YouTube and everyone was like, watch Ethan Lake. 
It was recommended by a couple of people. I kept putting it in polls. Eden Lake kept winning. So I was like, okay, the last movie I'm going to watch before I take my break is Eden Lake. And when I tell you that movie was so bleak, like what a way to, to go out. Um, but it, it exists. So if you just type in Eden Lake, shut up, James, I'm sure it'll pop up. That reaction is there. That was a spiral of a movie. Um, let me see. See if I can spot. Got to see if I have spots near me that sell a bunch of physical media. It, they're few and far between. Like I'm in um, Connecticut. We we don't have many. Uh, we have one that's like 45 minutes north of me, which is called Retro Junk. Love them. Uh, mostly video games, but lots of tapes and like die cuts and. Um, Oh, what are those things called? Standees, the ones that are at like the movie theater. And then about 50 minutes at least self is the archive. So I'm in the middle of both, but there's like nothing nearby. Um, Mr. Brown says, cool. I will rewind after stream is over. See ya. Sorry. I, I, I was, uh, Peter Anthony, Dominic Benoit, um, uh, Chance that's in here. One or two others uh, working on like, you know, some stuff. Eventually, when I get my channel going, we can definitely collab, period. So that's another one right there. So James and James, uh, the cinema with James, we're going to do something. Diff says, uh, your reaction to Demons is amazing. Oh my God, you found it through Demons? Thank you. I'm so excited to watch the second one. I think I got a little too ahead of myself with, again, I started Patreon not long after that. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll, I'll do my Patreon movies on YouTube. And that's just, it does not translate that way. So YouTube is mostly going to be what I want to watch, when I want to watch it, what's trending, a sequel I haven't, you know, like Demons 2, I'm like dying to watch. So that'll come up soon. And then Patreon is going to be the full length version of all of those movies and requests. That's Patreon. Will Patreon reactions end up on YouTube eventually? Yeah, sure. Uh, like visiting hours. That's what, like, I love visiting hours so much that will get edited into a YouTube situation. Um, so good. It gave me, I don't want to like hype it up too much, but like Silence of the Lambs of the 80s. Silence of the Lambs, if it was a slasher movie. That's like the suspense levels that I got. Blockbuster says Primal Rage slaps. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to watch it. I don't know if I'll do it on the channel. I'll probably do like I did with The Birds too. I just, I also preemptively from vinegar syndrome bought the birds too, just because these, these, the, the um, attention to detail in these slip covers, like literally gagged me with a spoon. So, uh, I bought the birds too back in like September and only a couple of weeks ago, finally put it in and just watched it downstairs. And I had a blast. It's not good, but I, I had a blast watching it. So I'll probably do that with this one too. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Eden Lake had to block that from my memory. Yeah, that was really rough. Really, really rough. I was frustrated from go. Uh, what's your Insta, James? I'll follow you. Oh, it's shut up, James. So at underscore shut underscore up underscore James underscore shut up, James with a bunch of underscores. Um, on my main, like on my YouTube's description, all of my links are there too, if that's easier. At the end, you literally can just go and find the Patreon is there if you even care about that. The memberships are a thing now. So if you want early access to, um, Chance, are you a member? Did I just realize that Chance's House of Horror is a member? Chance. Um, but you can, uh, click the link. Thank you for being a member. Yes. Uh, I'm just getting started. So like, um, apologies if it's not worth your while yet, but it will be, I swear. Mm. Um, but you get early access to all my movies and early access could be the, the night before it could be five days early, but I'll always tell you. And then, um, oh my gosh, the badges, I just noticed cause I'm like, there's a badge next to your name. You get a badge for when you're a member. You get special emojis, which I want to work on more, but I, the more members I get, the more emojis I can make. Right now, it's just a bunch. They're my face. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, there's exclusive like polls and chats, and then I'm going to do uh, Discord soon, but I don't know what that is or means, so let me figure that out. Um, 
and then we'll do more stuff. Merch is coming also. Uh, agreed, sadly, it gives me nightmares to this day. Yeah, see, Eden Lake was a little too real. The kids were upsetting. The um, the whole situation was just so uncomfortable and unnerving. And then the end. At, let's talk about something fun. Uh, let's talk about... I have movies I'll be watching soon. Oh, so you found me on Instagram? Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, so I said, right, uh, YouTube is going to be more like mostly what I want to watch. I'll do polls on YouTube that'll be specific to just YouTube. Again, I tried to cross Patreon, YouTube, and just, oh, it was too much. Um, it'd be interesting to see James react to Christine if he hasn't seen it. That's on my list. Uh, also, physical media is awesome. I still have the OG Shout Factory Halloween 2 set with both the theatrical version. Wait, the OG Shout Factory Halloween 2. Wait, Shout Factory did a Halloween 2? Wait, oh, the OG Halloween 2. I'm thinking of Rob Zombies for some reason. Does mine have both versions? Does because I have the I have the Shout Factory uh Blu-ray and the 4K. It's still in the plastic. Part two is the one I watched the least. Oh, television cut. Yeah. Okay. It has that. Good. I was like, I better have I better have everything too. The freaking money I've spent on this uh franchise. I better have every bonus feature. Uh I rewatched Christine. So I preemptively you toxic trait. I buy things I want to watch that I haven't seen and I might hate. I purchased Village of the Damned and uh, was going to maybe watch it at some point and it didn't happen. Uh, so I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll just wait, you know, till like its anniversary comes up or something. And I think it was January. Is January John Carpenter's birthday? Because it happened and I was like, crap, why, why don't I just dedicate like a week or a month or something to John Carpenter reactions? So I think I'm going to do that, but that means next year. So that would be, because the ones I haven't seen would be Christine. I never really wanted to watch They Live, but everyone tells me to watch it. So Christine, excuse me, They Live, Village of the Damned, um, maybe Prince of Darkness. I've been told I can I can skip that one, but we'll see. Um, blah, blah, blah. We finally get a trailer from Maxine on Monday. I heard. I'm excited. But did she kick that guy in the face or something? Um, I love that movie, Christine. And so just got the book. Oh, I was going to say, who wrote the book? Shut up, James. Can you guys hear the music downstairs? Let me see. It's my niece and nephew. Let me see if I can. Um... This is the video I took earlier. I was up here and I heard them and I was like, let me just. That's it, I wanna get flagged. She's four <laughs> and her nephew's 15, 15 and four years old. Um, but they're downstairs at Moses right now doing like karaoke and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for Maxine. I loved X, I liked Pearl. Those reactions are up on the channel too. I don't think I'll see Maxine in theaters, but that's good for y'all because that means I'll do a first time um, reaction out um, on the channel. So mm. I'll have to have like a Ty West, um, uh, what's it called? Playlist. Because I have the Innkeepers from Ty West. I have X, I have Pearl on the channel. Uh, House of the Devil, I've already, I haven't seen it in a long time. I could watch that again. House of the Devil, I watched back when it first came out and I loved it and I bought it and I never watched it since. Have you seen The Void? No, that's on my list as well. Stuff I recommend. 
it's crowdfunded and most of the effects are practical and really neat gross, especially considering the budget. So uh, that one I have, hi, Jonathan. I haven't watched that. Uh, that's on my list. When I, I've shown you, you all this list before, but when I say there's a, like it's in, it's on my list, there is a list and it is, let me see where, it, where does it start? It starts here. And this is my list of movies that I have to watch still. Ow, my hand's cramping. That's still the list. That's not done. Not exaggerating. Like you said, like it says, um, I mean, some of these movies are like not priority. So Donkey Punch, The Shuttle, She Came From the Woods, Bunny Man Massacre. Oh, for like an Easter thing. Skip, skip, skip. Victor Crowley, Pin Piranha and Piranha 2. Oh, the originals. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Lady in White, Forbidden Planet, Dark and the Wicked. Like, I mean, like, Dark and the Wicked, what is that? Um, Evil Laugh. Like, there's just tons of movies here. What I will say, the movies that I'm working on filming, like, right now, um, that I'm, like, essentially planning to be my April lineup. I'll just spit these out. We got April Fool's Day, right? We just got Winnie the Pooh. Hellraiser 2022. That will hopefully be coming next week. Um, Idle Hands for 420. Alien Covenant for Alien Day, because I've never seen Alien Covenant. It's the only Alien movie I've never seen. And then going into May, we'll probably start with something like Happy Birthday to Me, because May is my birthday month. Uh, eventually in May, I'm thinking Happy Death Day to you, because last year we watched part one. Uh, visiting hours, I think can be May because we, it, I already filmed it. Um, but I'm excited for, I'm excited for April now, now that it's not me like trying to shoehorn movies in that weren't going to fit or, or making a, like meeting a deadline or whatever. I'm excited about the YouTube reactions again. So, um, yeah, see, I remember watching the trailer for Alien Covenant and being like, yes. And then the movie came out and everyone was like, meh. And I was like, well, damn, did Ridley miss the mark again? Because he's he, his visuals as a director are stunning. But he also, he doesn't write the stuff. So sometimes he's directing a beautiful movie and the writing is meh. You know, I'm not talking about Alien. I'm not talking about Gladiator. Gladiator. I'm not talking about the majority of his movies. But sometimes I'm like, this is a beautifully bad movie. And Prometheus was beautiful, and I still enjoyed it a lot, but there are a lot of holes in that film. So the writing was not up to par. Uh, so I was scared when I heard that Covenant, this supposed to be called just Covenant, not Prometheus. And then it went through like a whole rewrite because they got feedback that people were like, where's the alien? So Covenant, Alien Covenant is not the movie that he wanted to make. And then when that didn't really do well and people were kind of like, what is this? Uh, they scrapped his idea for a trilogy. And I was fine with that because I'm very excited for Alien Romulus. Very excited. That shit's going to slap. Uh, I avoided all Winnie reactions until today. I couldn't resist. Damn. Wait, wait, have you seen, have you seen it? Are you like? Are you someone who watches reactions even though you haven't watched the movie? Because I surprised there are a lot of people who do that. One of my girls I was working with today, we were talking about this movie, and she was like, "She's like, I saw a little bit of it, and it did not look good." I'm like, "It's not," and she's like, "Well, did you do a reaction?" I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, I'll just watch that." And I was like, "Really? Like you're just gonna watch the reaction without you know, seeing having seen the movie first? I still feel like this is blurry. Is it because this is too too much in my face? Let me just play around with the lights while I'm live, you know? Maybe it's brighter. Yeah, there's something. I thought something was on my face, but it's on the screen. I don't know. Uh, no, I won't watch Winning Ever. I saw the trailer. Oh, okay. You're like, I will not watch that movie, period. But you'll watch it. Okay. Um, looking forward to watching the Winning to Maybe the pre-reaction tomorrow. Georgina! Georgina is a Patreon. I'm sorry. A lot of, a, a couple of you in here are from the Patreon as well. I uh, really enjoyed the film. It's fun and ridiculous. 
there are some I this is a long reaction too. My Winnie the Pooh reaction is like 40 something minutes long. Um Georgina, if you want to watch the edited reaction, that's already up, right? Uh the full length will be on Patreon in the next like 20 or 30 minutes. So I I I was posting, I was scheduling that post for Patreon right before I jumped on this live. Uh Scott says, can't wait to watch the sequel. I'm excited for the sequel. You could tell the movie had visuals. The visuals were there. The um there were some shots that were beautiful. The lighting was great. So there was effort put into how it looked. Cinematography was actually really good, surprisingly. It's just that the death sequences were crafted well, okay, but not great all the time. And then they used CGI over the practical effects. So then that ruined it. And the writing was atrocious. So the characters were all annoying and all stupid from go. That didn't help because then I think it was maybe a little more than halfway when I realized, oh, I don't like anyone here. Like, I, I, I think I'm in the reaction saying like, oh, I like her or I think I like the girls or I like blah, 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 whatever. And then as it went on, I'm like, I don't like a single person. Like everyone sucks. Everyone sucks, but I still had a good enough time. So Georgina will watch the Patreon version. See, join the Patreon. If you want the full length, Patreon. If you want the edited, YouTube. If you want early access to the edited and eventually the polls that decide those movies, because I will do, I will still do some where, um, like I might have a couple backup reactions and I'll say, well, which one do you guys really want? And that's going to be the poll for YouTube. But that's a membership. They have to be um, uh, a member on YouTube. I can't believe Chance uh, joined the membership. That is, that's amazing. It's very flattering. Um, Chance's House of Horror was here earlier, so he might still be here now. <sighs> but what else is going on? What else are we doing? What in the hell is going on with everyone? I'm listening to them downstairs jam out. Sounds like a kid's thing. My niece is four, so they're probably it's probably a children's song. Ow. Oof. Let me see. Am I missing any um am I missing any comments? Six a.m. Go to sleep. Good night, James. Thank you so much for jumping on. Anyone have plans to watch the eclipse? Oh, I. When is that again? I should pay attention to stuff. Isn't going to be over like Oklahoma? I mean, it's over everything, but like Oklahoma is going to have like that direct view that has like the the thing around the whole. Th I for something. Someone informed me. Did anyone? God, I hate that I'm asking this because everyone asked me this today. is like, shut up. But did anyone feel the earthquake in New York? No, I didn't feel it because I'm not in New York. But I woke up to ton not woke up. I was driving to work and tons of people were like, oh, my God, did you feel that? And I'm like, no, I'm driving. Should I have felt something? We should get a good view in Kansas City. Maybe that's what it was. Um, But I know I'm going to forget about it. See that? Same. Derek. Hi, Derek. Welcome. And also same. I forgot that it was even happening until you just said that. Do you prefer the original version of Halloween 6 or the producers? I prefer the theatrical. I technically prefer the first half of the producers and then the second half of the theatrical. I think that the producers cut is exceptionally boring, but it has more Loomis. And I feel like we could have used more Loomis in the theatrical. Like the stuff that they took out could have a lot of it could have still lived in the theatrical and made sense. But the the third act of the theatrical, I think, is batshit crazy in all the best ways. And everyone hates the guitar. I love it. I actually last year went uh with Blockbusted videos if he's still here. We went to Utah and we watched Halloween six in the backyard of the actual Myers house from the movie. Surreal. It was exceptional. Uh felt a huge shake over in New Hampshire for almost two minutes today. In New Hampshire. 
Hi, fluorescent soda. Sorry. Fluorescent soda is also Pogo Yaga. So if you're on Patreon, Pogo Yaga is fluorescent. Fluorescent is Pogo Yaga. Really? Because it happened in New York and I didn't feel it in Connecticut and Massachusetts didn't feel it. Did y'all get an earthquake too? Is Halloween 6 better than Halloween 5? I say yes. That one's tough. I think it's a it's a it's more of a well-made. Well, it's weird because the because there was so much behind the scenes crap that went wrong with that movie, right? I put them on similar pedestals, but I have to say I enjoy I enjoy re-watching six a lot more than five. But when I tell you I quote five daily, that might be because of blockbusted videos, because he and I literally just speak in Halloween four and five quotes. Like, I don't know, we'll be playing video games and 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 he'll be like, come save me. And I'll go, Tina. Like, it's stupid. Or um, what's the new one is <laughs> from, from five. We say it all the time is, um, <laughs> what do you want me to do? I can't look at myself when I say it, but we recite Halloween five all the time. But I will say Halloween six is better in, in my opinion. I do like Halloween six now. So, but I think Halloween five is a, little better and that's the thing is i think that both are good in their own great in their own respects so i'm fine if someone likes five more than six i don't like when someone puts five at the bottom of their list if you want to go for it but i'm like you think that resurrection deserves to live and is not at the bottom of your list like that is that's mind-boggling to me I didn't like Kills, but I don't think Kills belongs at the bottom of the list. I did not like Halloween Ends, but I do not think Halloween Ends belongs at the bottom of the list. Um, I don't really enjoy Rob Zombie's Halloween 1. I like, I love his Halloween 2. Theatrical, I'm sorry, no, not theatrical. Director's cut of Halloween 2, Rob Zombie. But none of those belong at the bottom of the list to me. To me, it's always Resurrection. Resurrection is is the, the lowest point, one of the lowest points in cinema, period. That's just me. Uh, let me see. I like the boring weather in the UK. Apart from floods, weather is pretty calm, although it is April and not too cold. Yeah, no, it's chilly here. Uh, we're getting our April showers already. It's been April showers for like the last two weeks of March. Wish they had kept Danielle and not killed Jamie off. <clears throat> At least not the start of the... Yeah, see, it when you like listen to all the commentaries and stuff from Halloween 6, because there's multiple... There's a commentary of the producer's cut and if you get the 4k there's a commentary on the theatrical both of them and the behind the scenes when you put all the pieces together neither movie is what daniel farrens wrote daniel farrens who wrote halloween six wrote a a jamie lloyd sequel she's in the beginning she the hospital thing still exists there you know the underground stuff blah 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 blah, blah that still exists she gets away she almost gets killed by Michael. Michael goes back home and all of that stuff mostly still happens. Jamie comes back in the third act and it is a third act main cast bloodbath. Like Jamie comes back to save Kara and the others. Uh, it, before the movie even started being filmed, they went and they gutted a bunch of stuff and then wouldn't pay Daniel Harris to come back. It was like $5,000 like oh, Weinstein's is why you're in jail. Um, there's other reasons he's in jail, but Diff says, don't block me, but I liked resurrection. Where's the block button, you guys? Where found it? Bye. No, I'm just kidding. Um to each his own. I don't find that movie to be scary, fun, funny, interesting, acted well, written well, or directed well. If you're gonna be bad be so bad you're good and i find zero redeeming qualities about that film no that's a lie the music is really good um the redone theme is good oh, stupid sorry but the thumbs up and there's one cool shot where michael stands up and it's just his silhouette in the very beginning in the hospital every other shot and choice made makes me ill makes me hurt uh and i think it's because i hold the halloween franchise to a higher standard so each sequel even if you don't love it even if it's not like spectacular is still enjoyable it's still good and uh 
resurrection just did not just did not it it's it was like a big kick in the in the nuts to me to to the that's but i'm glad you like it i'm glad it, ha it has an audience i just punched myself uh kills at the bottom of my list for sure it's also at the bottom of the list even when you add several other slasher franchises yeah i didn't like kills at all but i know kills has a following just because it's like over the top kills for that aspect people love it so uh, Georgina says Resurrection is not a good film, not a fan of the Rob Zombie Halloween films. Um, if they were not Halloween films, I think they would be, yeah, like I, I find hate Rob Zombie's Halloween to be exhausting. It is exhausting to sit through, but if you watch his Halloween 2 director's cut, I find it to be like a very grand, epic, dark, gothic conclusion to his two movies. So I don't need to watch one ever again. I know what happens. And part two is enough of a, gives us enough of like a mini recap where I can watch part two director's cut. And I'm like, this is a, th I cried when I watched the director's cut of that movie. Um, oh my gosh, Halloween stops. There's good in everything. The main theme resurrection, not the entire thing, but the first 50 seconds. Absolutely. Yes. The redone theme for Halloween resurrection is great. And I cannot take that away from them. Great. Halloween Stocks, we just talked about a little while ago. I, um, well, I'll see if I pronounce your name correctly. I said Dominic Benoit. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dominic is the creator of the two films I mentioned earlier, very early on when I was mentioning collabs. I want to have him on the channel at some point. Is uh, Halloween Stocks and Halloween Stocks 2. Both of those are, got it right, yes. Uh, both of those are available on YouTube. You can type in Halloween stocks and it's a, the thing is it's, it's like a fan film, but I don't see it as a fan film. It, it literally is just a short film that happens to have Michael Myers in my opinion, because quality wise, it is leaps and bounds above fan films. Like I, there's other collabs I'm doing where like I, they made a fan film. They made a film that is for the fans and it's fun. But if you watch uh, Halloween Stocks, that's like next level with the cinematography and the directing and the editing and the sound. It it looks like a piece of a real movie that we're watching. Sorry, I'm just like dumping all these compliments on you. Um, uh, watch the Halloween Stocks fan films when uh, you post on Instagram. They were great. Good. I'm glad that people actually pay attention to my Instagram, for goodness sake. Um, so if you haven't checked them out, please do so. We, what I was thinking, Dominic, since you're here, what I was thinking is let's set up a date and we'll do like a watch party where we will tell everyone we'll sync up. Like I won't have it on my screen. We'll have everyone pull it up, hit play. We'll watch, we watch the first one and then talk about it. And then we watch the second one and talk about it. But we would, we could do all that live together. And then Dominic would be here not here. He would not be here. Dominic, you're in Canada, correct? Um, and I'm not near Canada. So, but we'd have him on, uh, and, and y'all can answer questions. You'd have the creator of Halloween stocks on freaking stupid shut up James's channel. Isn't that crazy? Quebec. Good. See, okay. I'm not as dumb as I look or as dumb as I say that I am. Yeah, I kind of am. Um, am I missing anything? And we have any, I mean, let's put you on the spot. You're in the chat, but anyone have any questions for Dominic about Halloween stocks or Halloween stocks two? I've already asked if we're getting Halloween stocks three, and the answer was he's just wait. He needs a break, wait, because that's the first thing most people want to ask is so where's the third? But some of us need to take a break. We need to, like, you know, a chill pill. Ow, for real. But if y'all have any questions for, yeah, Dominic, do it. If you have any questions for me, go crazy. Tonight was more chill. Oh, I'll put my movies away. I was showing off, I was showing off movies before. If no one, who has seen Killer Condom? Has anyone here seen Killer Condom? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it at some point. Uh, Dominic, still catching my breath. I've been focusing on Halloween Stocks 2 for a full year. Yeah, like that can't that can't happen quickly you know like what to say i have seen how is it 
the thing is you and I don't agree on almost any movie uh poke fluorescent like so I said before I liked it a lot oh but maybe I will like it I mean I'm not expecting it to be good I'm expecting like a so bad it's good like a so ridiculous and over the top that it's good um oh it's so funny I when I was looking at my list I saw sissy and I was like what's that but I, it must have your name attached to it um you probably suggested it in the past how long did it, Dominic, question for you. How long did it take you uh, to film the first and second stocks? That's a great question, Diff. Can I like show these? No. I can put a user in timeout, that's exciting. Um, so how long did it take you to film those? That's a great question. Because I was on the set of um, like an independent movie situation that I can't really talk about. And it involves Peter Anthony, who I'm going to have on the channel at some point, And I'm going to have to ask him, like, what can I say and not say? Because the movie's not being, is not finished being filmed and uh, hasn't come out yet, of course. And there's, I have like pictures and video and he's like, don't post anything. I'm like, but I had so much fun. But we only filmed two scenes that day. And it was... And one of the scenes wasn't even finished. Like when I left, I got there at like 9 a.m. I left at like 6 p.m. We had filmed one whole scene and they had done most of the second scene and then my time was done, so I left. And they kept filming after that all night long. So it takes a long time to do these things. Um, Halloween Stocks 1 required full, full night, four full nights back in the fall of 2022. And Halloween Stocks 2 took eight nights in 2023. That seems legit. That makes sense. Oh, that first, like, I love them both. The second one played with my emotions so much. The first one, I was, I was creeped out in the first one more, I think, from Go. But the second one, and we talked about this, the second one gave me that, like, Aliens Ripley moment of realizing she has to go back and get the kid. And I was like, shut up. So many dynamics you don't get in Halloween movies that you were, you were able to put neatly in two short films. It's crazy. Uh, Killer Condom is a, it's a gay story with some weird stuff about the gay character telling, I'm not going to read that. I, I know nothing about it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know a single thing. Depending on the scene, sometimes uh, you won't film more than two minutes of content per filming day. Yeah. Well, yeah, the setup and everything, that's crazy. Uh, your satisfaction may vary on how, I don't know, how big it is or not, but it's definitely thoughtful, ambitious, and artsy. I'll still check it out. I mean, maybe I'll watch it as a reaction, and if I love it, it'll go up. And if I, actually, that can't go up on YouTube. That might be like a Patreon exclusive, you know, for fun. Maybe you someday will do Killer or Condom. Uh, awesome. Where did you find the cast? They were much better than most of the other fan films. That's a fact. Uh, and I've seen a lot. James, have you seen Jimmy Champagne's Halloween? No, I remember him posting about it a lot. And then I, I never watched it. This thing is, I would always have a list of fan films I wanted to watch. And I wouldn't, I didn't never watch a single one. I'll tell you my Peter Anthony story because I keep mentioning Peter Anthony. Um, I had heard of Roseblood. Uh, the Friday 13th fan film. I'd heard of it, and I kept saying I wanted to watch it. There was a bunch of other uh, Halloween fan films. There was Never Hike Alone for Friday 13th. There's like Freddy. There, uh, there are so many fan films of these movies, and I never watched any of them. I think there's like some Chucky ones too. And mostly I think it's Halloween and Friday 13th. So I was at a horror convention, and I walked by a booth. I saw a VHS tape, and it was The New Blood. And I said, how much is that tape? And the guy's like, I don't know. Let me get the guy. And he brings over this big, like, muscle guy. And he's like, no, sorry, that's not for sale. And I was like, oh, I was like, is it, like, what's it for? And he points to the big poster behind him that says Rosebud. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, I've heard of this. And I kept wanting to watch it. And I haven't gotten a chance. And he's like, well, I made the movie. It's my movie. And I was like, shut up. And I was like, are you selling it? And he's like, right here. And I was like, well, if I'm going to watch it or buy it, I'm going to get it from the guy who made the movie. So I bought it on Blu-ray. And I have it over here. And he was like, this is the like special edition. It's got commentary. It's got whatever. I was like, I'm a sucker for bonus features. Very excited. We kept in touch. We bumped into each other like five more times at that convention. 
kept in touch talking all the time. He calls me up and he says, I have a part for you in a, in a movie and this and that and a blah, 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 whatever. Long story short, too late. I didn't finally watch his movie until after meeting him several times, working on a project with him. Uh, and it was just a couple of weeks ago. So I met him and bought the movie in September and I've worked with him a couple times and talked to him all the time. I only just watched the movie a few weeks ago, but after watching it and like, it's, it's a fan film. That's where like, I look at Halloween stocks and I see a short film because it there now budgetary things and, and time. And I understand these things, but I had so much fun watching Roseblood and, and seeing like what they were able to do with no budget in no time. So I was like, this is so exciting. I want to watch more fan films. So I'm finally in my fan film era, which is how I even got into watching Halloween stocks. I was like, I kept seeing Halloween stocks too. And I'm like, well, where's one? So I went and watched one and was like, this is fantastic. Started chatting with Dominic. Sorry for this very long story, but I, I want to check out all these movies. So y'all message me and let me know which ones I should be watching. Um, that was a really long winded answer for all that. It's delicate balance between playing homage, paying homage to what came before and making the, uh, the thing your own by telling your own story. You did it very well. Uh, you did it exceptionally well. Uh, you should do creep show and blood and black lace on the channel, trying to make your list so long. It's unpleasant. Thank you, Derek. I, um, I've seen creep show just not in a long time. I watched creep show two more often when I was a kid. Although the only one I really remember is the raft segment that messed me up. Um, I went for professional actors, called agencies, did auditions. I wanted to make a cinematic feature. This is about Halloween stocks. So the creator of Halloween stocks, Dominic Benoit is in here right now. I love this. You're giving us like behind the scenes. I wanted to make a cinematic feature and the actors needed to render the story in a believable way. You chose amazing actors. A lot of times it's, Hey, I want to make a movie and I'm going to get my friends to do it because that's the cheap free way to do it. Um, but getting real actors who really embodied the roles and getting, but it also speaks to the writing because you, you were able to convey these relationships with these, these characters in such a short period of time, like the mother uh, son relationship in two is established very quick in just a few lines, but very authentically the, the couple in part one very quickly established, you know, their relationship. And then when bad things start happening, you feel very bad. Um, Jimmy Champagne did two Halloween films. His second one was filmed in one night. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. Christian's here. Hope everything, Christian, I missed you. I was wondering where you were. We were talking about, um, we were talking about a lot of stuff, but visiting hours. I got, do you, you, you must own it if you, you, you know, told me to watch it, but I got... I went to the archive looking for it and they didn't have it, but I, I bought it from Shout Factory directly. So I've got my visiting hours and my, my bad dreams. I should have just left these over here. Christian's the one who on Patreon requested visiting hours. So that's why there's a full length reaction to that movie on Patreon, but I loved it so much. I'm going to edit it into a YouTube reaction that'll probably go up in like May or June. Um, let me see. Creep Show is definitely my jam. Derek, I wanted to recommend Mario Baba's barren blood, but life is a bit short. Oh no. Many of my recommendations might be hard to find. I noticed that I felt bad. What was the one? Was it like Legion? The Legion or the, there was the legacy. Was it legacy? There was one that you recommended that I could not find anywhere. Uh, so I'm sorry. I'll keep looking though. Cause if it pops up, I'll, I'll, I'll still, I'll do that one. Um, let me see how many socks. It shows your hard work really paid off. I can't wait for the next installment. Yes, give them some time off, but I can't wait. Uh, reach out to Tubi to see if they'll stream it. <laughs> Just ask them. Be like, hey, Tubi, can you like do this for me? Um, so happy you enjoyed it. It's always been a favorite. Christian, I'd never even heard of it. I'd never even heard of Visiting Hours, and then you blessed me. I haven't even opened this yet. My niece and nephew are here. Love them, bless their hearts, but I really want to watch the bonus features on this. Um, it's got commentary with the writer director, interviews with actors Jennifer Rubin, Bruce Abbott, and Dean Dean Cameron. 
because that's not any of the leads, I don't think, so that kind of sucks. Special, oh, the special effects of Bad Dreams. Oh, that's Bad Dreams. I'm sorry. Visiting Hours. Interview with screenwriter Brian Taggart and radio and TV spots. That's it. Damn it. <laughs> Leo's here. Look at all the little emojis. They're my stupid face. Member. That's when you become a member. So uh, Patreon is for full-length reactions. We I've finally figured this out. YouTube is for regular edited reactions. And the two will only cross over when I choose. So if you want to be a member, you get uh, early access to videos and you get these emojis and you get um, badges and we're going to do like members only uh, watch alongs eventually. Right now, there's there's only a few of us, only a few members. So I want to get, you know, a good amount of members before I like do the, the watch alongs and stuff. So just got out of the theater, went to see the first omen. Ooh. And well, it was the first omen. Okay. Was it good? It looked good. Christian says, Lee Grant doesn't do many interviews for her movie, sadly. Well, damn it, she should, because they're going to pay her a lot of money to do it. James, have you seen Madman? Galen Ross from Dawn of the Dead is in it. No, I have not seen Madman. I have not seen that. Uh, there was a Be Kind Rewind video on Lee Grant. It's a must-watch and very political. Oh, so very me, that's for sure. Uh, Lee Grant was so awesome. Great life story. Oh, Richard G is here. Hello, Richard. Sorry if I'm just like doing this and like reading the the comments. Usually I put the comments on the screen, but that's through StreamYard. I wanted the video quality to be better, and the video quality is better just straight up through YouTube. So also, um, I copied Chance's um, House of Horror. I noticed when he did his live. He's just super chill. He hasn't put anything up on the screen. It's not like a fancy, crazy background. It's just him like doing his thing. And I was like, I think I try too hard with some things that like aren't important. This seems more authentic than me trying to like click and put the whatever. Um, let me see. Yeah, it was pretty good. A little predict, a little predictable because it's a prequel, but the main character is endearing. So it made it all worth it. Okay. So the first element apparently is good. It looked good. So did Immaculate. They looked like the same movie, essentially. But Lee Grant is in so many great movies. She's in the original Valley of the Dolls. Never seen that. I, I'm i stupid. When you watch the full-length reaction, right? Everyone else will see it whenever I post it to YouTube. But um, I was like, Lee Grant, isn't he in freaking Warlock or something? I had, I was thinking of Grant someone else or something. It's a stupid idiot. It's a female. Um, so I don't think I've seen her in anything besides this. Uh, but Mammy is based on Cropsy. It's got a bit of a cult following now. Cropsy. Uh, fireworks and the thumbs up. Not fireworks? I'll give you fireworks. Uh, that reaction did of April Fools is amazing. Thank you, Richard. I had fun with that one. It. I loved those characters. I look at it as m mostly as a comedy. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, this leans, this is a comedy that happens to have a horror elements or it's a horror movie that happens to have comedy elements. And it's difficult for me to look at, at a movie and see both at the same time. Like um, the final girls from like 2015 comes to mind. It's probably more of a comedy, but I look at it equally as both because I was crying. I was screaming there like love. Um, but April fool's, April Fool's Day was was good. Freaking Biff with his, I forgot what he said when he was like, all of his gay jokes were hilarious. I I feel like I you see gay stuff in like 80s movies and it's cringe or it's insulting. And I just thought he was hysterical. Um, let me see. If you haven't seen her, you wouldn't know. She's great though. Yeah, that's uh, Lee Grant. All, relig all religions movies are the same movie. Yeah, kind of. What was me, the devil, the Jesus, and the Holy Spirit? Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. You're a comedy, James. Thank you. I try. I'm a dark comedy. What else is going on, everyone? April Fool's was fun. Biff was funny. I wish he would have kissed more guys. He was very, like, like, we after on the first date, and he's like, he's an animal. Like, um... 
cubby holes. I thought Amityville 2 was a bit different for religious horror, I have to say. Fluorescent, you're just starting. You're just like starting something. That was... I don't remember the second one. I have it on tape. I think I was looking for it on Blu-ray and I couldn't find it. So I, I bought the tape because it was such a pretty such a pretty box. But I haven't seen that since I was a kid. And I think the second one scared me more than the first when I was younger. I think because I wasn't expecting him to kill his family. Like I, wa I wasn't putting, you know, one and one together that this is a prequel and we're seeing what happened to the family in the first one. Uh, you want comedy? Deathgasm. Wait, I've heard of that. Original Psycho OP's reaction to Emmyville 2 made me laugh so hard I almost spit my drink. Original Psycho's o Original Psycho OP's? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Fluorescent is like, actually, uh, April Fool's Day had an original deleted ending where Skip is... Oh, I heard about that. Um, I heard he was actually supposed to be the killer. And then... Uh, did they film it and not use it? Because I haven't even looked at the, um, like, I haven't looked at this yet. Does it say, like, let's see, interviews with the director, da 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 Oh, there's no commentary, just interviews, and then the trailer and theatrical, and, I'm sorry, TV spots. Oh, so they must, they must just talk about it then. Okay. I think some of this film, but it's lost footage now. God, I hate that. Original Psycho OP is the other horror reactor YouTube I pay for. The recommendations. Oh, but she did her Amityville 2 video before I joined her Patreon. Wait, when you join someone's Patreon, can't you see the other stuff that they did? Like, you can go back and see that, right? Amityville 2 was different for sure. Yeah, I liked that um, Amityville 2 was different. <laughs> Richard T Muff. I just couldn't say her name. I just couldn't say her name seriously. Muffy. Um, it's raining and windy here. Waiting for my partner, and all I want is spicy chicken nuggets. I don't know what I'm having for, for dinner. Muff is buff. They had a muff and then a biff. I mean, his name wasn't Biff in the movie, but that's who he was. Um, ow. Here, talk amongst yourselves for a moment. I have to use the restroom. And you guys can listen to, I love doing this, right? Let's have a live and I'm going to leave. Um, you can listen to the music that they're, they're, they're playing downstairs. Not me going to the bathroom. Yes, it is karaoke. They're doing karaoke downstairs. It's my uh, four-year-old and 15-year-old um, niece and nephew and Moses, and they're doing some kind of karaoke. Although, it sounds like a con like concert music or something. Richard says, I'm going to drink. Where are you going to drink? Esteban says, we need camera control. She has to poop. No, I didn't go poop, damn it. I went poo. I didn't do that. Um, if you can see an alternate April Fool's ending, it certainly isn't on any of the... But yeah, it, it wasn't here. I mean, you never know because they said that the alternate footage from Halloween 5 was lost. And then like a couple of years ago, we're like, oh, we found the original opening. Now the audio was all gone and watching it is weird because you can tell it's like a dubbed audio. But you never know. The original ending to Poltergeist 3 had been lost and they denied it ever existed, that they originally filmed an ending with Heather O'Rourke and then went back after her death for reshoots. Like, people were, like, denying that to their, like, I was going to say their grave, but just, like, 
to the ends of the earth. Like, no, we didn't do that. The ending that we filmed is the ending you got. Then they found the the original ending, and people were like, um, nice. So the Blu-ray has the alternate. So you never know. They could find it someday. I'm still waiting for Halloween 5. More missing footage. So in Halloween 5, when the uh, they go to the Myers house, like they're going to set the trap, Jamie's at the Myers house, whatever. And the police are at the Myers house, and then they get a call to go back to the school because they're like, he's here, he's here, and all the cops leave. In the original script, and there was footage. Don Shanks is, is interviewed multiple times as saying, we filmed a scene. The um, cops go to the school. Michael is there. And there's like a massacre where he kills a bunch of the cops. Like it's a big, like every cop that comes at him, he's like, judo chop, judo chop. And then he steals a cop car. And then he goes back to the house. Um, they removed that whole segment because it was too bloody, I guess. And so they have this other thing where they, you know, you think he, like basically Michael must have been there earlier and then left. So time wise, it doesn't exactly work out. Um, I just discovered vodka mules from, oh, you were sending send me pictures of the vodka mules thing. Were they good? Just like the octopus in Goonies. <laughs> What's like the octopus in Goonies? Um, I know Texas Chance Massacre Part 2 had an amazing opening scene that was cut and the only footage existing is impossible to watch. Oh, really? I liked the, I loved, I loved the idea of that opening with, well, you talk about like the, the bridge scene, like with like that part, or was it different? Um, ow. But I don't enjoy that movie. At least Warner Brothers cleaned up the deleted footage from the Goonies and Little Shop of Horrors. Like how? Oh, like like better uh, quality. I I noticed that because like my my bloody Valentine. I have the the Blu-ray, and it specifically says like contains new footage that was just discovered, but it cuts from like Blu-ray quality to like VHS quality. When they re-release the Blu-ray, or maybe it's the 4K, it's crystal clear. So they were able to find those original prints and do a transfer because I'm watching it like in 4K and it's 4K all the way through, even with the unrated new footage. So the technology exists. Have you seen Killer Party 1986? No, I think it's on my list though. Does that have to do with April Fool's? I feel like it was recommended because it had to do with the holiday or something. Have a wonderful... Nick says boo. Told me to have a wonderful stream. Thank you, Nick. Nick says boo said hi and sent me a pumpkin, y'all. Um, isn't that part of the latest Shout H5 releases? Um, no, the opening is. So the lost opening, Esteban, is part of the Halloween 5, whatever, but the cop massacre still supposedly doesn't exist anywhere. Even though Don Shanks says it does. He says he filmed it. He's He does uh, Sean Clark. He's in a, a Sean Clark episode of um, Horrors Hollowed Grounds where they go to filming locations. And he basically walks Sean through like what the scene was. He's like, I did this. We came over here. The camera was over here. Blah, blah, blah. I punched the guy. I did this. He did it. Like he walks him through the whole thing. He's like, we filmed it. Dude, where is it? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry if I'm missing. Spoiler, James is the Antichrist. Plot twist. Um, you're not, wait, not you not reading my whole vodka. I'm, I'm a very bad reader. So send shorter, shorter bursts of messages. No, the very first scene of some sort of sports team on a bus. Oh, oh, that sounds interesting too. Maybe they'll put, I like when, uh, things that don't make it into, earlier movies end up in like the sequels or reboots. So hopefully that is a thing that they do. Um, Shot Factory cleaned up the deleted footage. It's gorgeous. Okay. So does Nick ever say anything else asking for a friend? What do you mean? Oh, ha. Huh. God, I'm so stupid. No, he just says boo. Um, Christian, he says boo cubby holes. He says boo. The opening scene of Killer Party, which could have been a great movie on its own right, is a music video called April You'll, You're No Fool. Oh, my God. Boo it, Christian. This is a message. <laughs> Y'all are dumb. Hmm. This is 
my phone doesn't tell me when I have new members. So the fact that Chance was like, I'm a member, I'm sorry, that's still like, um, I'm still I'm still beside myself that he's a member. Processing up to HD. Oh, that's the full length. I'm like, what do you mean processing up to HD? I already posted that. Ow. Yeah, it doesn't even list. Oh, it does. It lists. It's weird. It lists him as a. It says I don't have any new members, but it lists him down below as a as a a member. YouTube Studio or whatever. Get your crap together. Time over here, Peter Anthony. I just call him Peter. Um, message me. He he's trying to figure out how to like the same thing I'm doing, right? Like you post stuff in one place, and you kind of have to post like 15 places, and he's having a problem with that. And I was like, let me just give you like a tutorial one day. Uh, if you want to fool yourself, watch The Howling too. I still haven't watched The Howling. Wait, we have another member. There's two members, Leo. You and do you follow? Um, Chance's House of Horror. If you don't, you should, because I love his reactions. I actually, when I filmed my Winnie the Pooh reaction, I had just started falling in love with Chance's. The thing is, I've seen Chance. He's been on like uh, uh, the Horror Hour and a bunch of, like I've seen him before and I've seen his videos, but he did the Final Girls. And I was like, why have I not been watching Chance's reactions already? Like, why have I not been watching them like religiously? Like when I want to watch a reaction, I type in Alonda Parker, Nick Says Boo, Petty Pumpkins. So now I type in Alonda Parker, Nick Says Boo, Petty Pumpkins, Chance's House of Horror. And I watched a bunch, I binged a bunch of his reactions. When I saw that he had done Winnie the Pooh, and I already knew I was going to film a reaction to it, I was like, well, who else has done Winnie the Pooh? And because I know that Alonda had already done Winnie the Pooh. No, I'm sorry. I knew that Nick Says Boo had done Winnie the Pooh as well. Because I remember seeing that he did it and he talked about it a lot, but obviously he couldn't watch it. I looked and saw that Alonda watched it. And then I noticed that Petty, Pumpkin, Petty Pumpkins had watched it. So I'm like, everyone that I would want to watch, watch this movie, has already watched it. So in my reaction, I say, I want to watch Chance's House of Horror. And then like two nights after filming that, I was on his live and he was like, hey, shut up, James. I'm like, I just mentioned you and your Winnie the Pooh situation. So we're going to watch a movie together. You weren't here for that, but Chance's House of Horror and I are going to do a live watch along uh, in May. We're looking at some sleazy 80s movies to watch. Um, I recommend Killer Party to anyone who's seen Night of the Demons. I loved Night of the Demons, so okay, I, I would like that then. Um, moving on up, started from the bottom, yep. Uh, first and so it's weird because it starts all boobs, then morphs into a decent haunted house practical effects smorgasbord. Well, you know, sometimes you have to. Like, um, what was it? Oh, <gasps> Christian just became a member. Thank you, Christian. How do I can I add as a moderator? Hide report. Okay, so I can't do it. I, I can't I want to like shout you from the I'm Christian. So Christian and Leo and Chance are now members. I thank you all very much. And get, you can use the stupid, yeah. I need to figure out a way to like crop it so there's no background so you can see what that is. Um and I once I have more members, I get to make more emojis. So I'm excited for that. Um I forgot what I was, I was saying because I got so excited uh, that Christian became a member. Probably wasn't important. Um, wait, you were saying... Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. You said boobs. <laughs> That's why I went off on a tangent. Uh, Slumber Party Massacre has lots of like the locker room, whatever, and it just seems so out of place. But the movie itself, I think, is phenomenal. And then uh, I, I think it was the commentary or something or interviews where the director was like, they told me I had to, like, she had a boob quota. She had to have boobs in the movie. So instead of having, like, a really annoying sex scene, she was like, I'll just do a locker room scene. Get the boobs out of the way and then have the movie I want to have. And I'm like, that's so smart. Um, Let me see. Sometimes I'm very bad company, Christian. He's not wrong. Cubby Holes is exceptionally bad company sometimes. Um, but he knows a good pizza place. Uh, really bad at at directions though. Uh, I met Leo cubby holes and, uh, he was like the house, like the place is just up here and we're walking down the street with like bags of stuff from CVS, a pizza. And he's like, it's just over here. That was like a 20 minute walk 
to get back. Um, look at you, message redacted. Oh, if I had StreamYard, it would still show me a message. So maybe next time I will do StreamYard. Shady bitch. Color Party has great music throughout. My favorite characters are Phoebe and Vivia. Vi Vivia. Killer Party. I have to check it out. Espan, you are not kidding about me and Killer Party. Original Psycho OP watched KP Killer Party when I recommended it. Oh! And I forgot how much enjoying the frat sleaze stuff is to me. Oh my god. I'm I'm ex I'll put that uh as a as a like YouTube watch priority. Well, not, not priority like anytime soon, but like is it is it set around any time of year? You mentioned Night of the Demons. Is it like Halloween-ish? Is it like a birthday party? What kind of party are they having? Because maybe I'll be able to watch it um, like around that time of year. Let me see if it's already on my list. Sissy by Georgina. That is in here from you. Cutting class, neon demon. Da, 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 am I looking for a killer party, killer party, killer party? Killer party 1986. It's already on the list. I will put a star next to it. Two stars. It's sorority rush. Oh, then maybe I'll do it like in the summertime. Last year I did like my summer movies were Slumber Party Massacre. I mean, I did like Piranha, Sleepaway Camp. It was like Slumber Party Massacre, Night of the Creeps. Um, so that would fit in. It's an April Fool's Day movie. Wait, what? Now it's an April. Oh, it's April Fool's Day. I almost did your hundred dollar tier. Ha! Huh, calm down. <laughs> I mean, go for it. But but um, that's yeah. I am gonna do your TV show request one though. Oh, he's okay. Leo's on Patreon right now. The Patreon has different tiers. So there's like one tier that's like all the chats, all the polls, and then you get one full length reaction a month, and it changes every month, and some other perks in there. And then the next one up is all the full length. Uh, all the polls, all the chats, uh, shout out, and uh, all the videos. Well, both of those have a shout out. Da, 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 da. You get access to everything. And then the, the third tier is the request. We actually make a movie. You get access to everything, and you get a movie request. And the movie request has a verbal, like, I will be like, thank you, Christian, for that reaction. And, and like, and Basically, I'm watching the movie with Christian. So, like, I I think I say your name like ten times while watching visiting hours because I'm like Christian. What the hell did you do? Um, and then the top one is a tier where it's it's everything and a movie request. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. There's a TV show one. You can request one season of a TV show. That'll probably be. I think I put it like once a year because it's going to take me a minute to watch a whole season of a TV show. You know. And then there's a top, top tier, which is a movie request, a, a live watch along request, and a trailer, a modern trailer request. That is the top tier. Leo almost just paid for that one. That's that's also one a year. So when that gets snagged, it gets removed. Um, let me see. Sorry, autocorrect. April Fool's Day movie, The Party That's Killer is an April Fool's. You're welcome. The, card, the, the, the party is an April Fool's. The April Fool's is a party. The killer party is a Fool's Day. April Fool's party killer. Got you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right? Do it. Prove it. I'm still behind on, on Leo's uh, other reaction, so I wouldn't... If I were him, I wouldn't do it. Uh, Last Night in Soho will be a full-length reaction for leo and for cubby holes and kalabos kalobos Kal whatever that movie is coming as a full-length reaction request from cubby holes christian was visiting hours which is up now pogo yaga is uh dead and buried which i've already filmed and will be posting on patreon as a full length soon You just gave me another, I think. Scott Witherall gave me two, so I'm I'm behind. I'm behind. This is what happened when I thought I was going to film. I was going to take the reactions and then turn them into... Um, Travis is here! Travis, how was your audition? Sorry. I, sorry, this is backpedal. 
I thought I was going to take the full length reactions and also turn those into YouTube. And that did not work. You guys, it did not work. So YouTube will be the movies that I want to watch. I've already said this 10 times, but if anyone, anyone else that's, um, that's just jumped in. Uh, but, and then Patreon will be the full length and, and whatever, but I promise I'm catching up on the full lengths. Let me see. It is Trilogy of Terror and Class of 1984. Those are the movies um, from Scott Witherall. Poga, fluorescent, sorry, I was going to say Poga Yaga, fluorescent soda. Either way, did you, did you, did I ask you, did I get your March reaction? Let me know. Because do you want it to be? or I could be just be forgetting. I try to make one note that has all of them, but I, if you had given to me and I forgot, I'm so sorry. Um, Travis had an audition tonight. He's auditioning for Evil Dead. He says, oh my gosh, uh, it was okay. I crapped it on my last note, but overall it was good. Got lots of laughs. Good, that's the point. That's a fun ass show. <gasps> Brent, Brent, stop. Oh, I love Brent. So everyone stop what you're doing. You need to go to um, uh, Instagram and follow Gore Galore. That is Brent Edget. Edget? How do you pronounce? I, well, you can't tell me how to pronounce your name, but that's fine. It's Brent. I can't. I met him someplace. I can't say where because we can't talk about we can't talk about the thing that we were a part of. Um, and he is the most like amazing human. And I really can't say that enough. And I, I like a lot of people, but like, I just want to like hang out with Brent all the time. And when I walked into this place, I was walking into this place. I didn't know anyone. Damn it. Esteban guessed it. It was a fight club. It was a fight club. You can't talk about it though. So I walked in and he's like, Hey, he's like, shut up, James. And I was like, what? Brent, I did not recognize you because he does cosplay. So he's always dressed up as Art the Clown the best Art the Clown cosplay I actually have ever seen. So he was like, gore galore. And I was like, oh, literally the best, most awesome guy. And the whole time that I'm at this place that I can't talk about um, because we're sworn to secrecy or whatever, uh, he was so like kind and like would just make me feel comfortable because I'm in this setting with these people I don't know. <gasps> Richard is a member now. Thank you, Richard. Christian says foursome. It's a foursome now. We have four of us. Thank you all. Um, thank you all very much. This is, this is a great, this is a great time. Brent, Brent makes me smile. So, um, but he was so like comforting, like big brother kind of like making me feel like I, I belonged there, which was nice. Cause I didn't, I'm not an, I'm not an actor and I was in a place with like actors and stuff. Um, uh, damn it. I was gonna, I can't I tell any stories. I cannot tell any stories, but I love that you popped in even just for five seconds to say hi, because, uh, you should all go follow Gore Galore. He's fantastic. Um, can't talk about the thing you were a part of. Is this a murder pact? Like I know you did last summer. If I tell you, I have to kill you. So <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Um, it's not don't ask, don't tell. Brent is not a don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> I'm not trying to like, that's not a thing. Um, let me see. I've been, I've been geeking out. I missed stuff. Oh, I didn't miss anything. That's good. Haven't seen it in a while. I just assumed that it was Hell Week or something. Oh, for the, the April Fool's uh, movie. That's fine. Uh, Brent, we're just talking about Killer Party from 1986. I've never seen it, but it might be something that I end up watching on my channel. So cute. Um, wow, this is a good night. I've got members for days now. I wonder how many members I have to have before I can make more emojis. I don't know why I thought it was like eight. I'm like, that's pretty, that's not a lot. We're already halfway there. Cue someone singing. Oh, you know. I should stop drinking this energy drink at 10 o'clock at night. Oh my gosh. What else, you guys, before I, I go back and hang out with my family that's downstairs singing and dancing to karaoke? Ow. Oh, Brent, I'm sorry. 
I'm having Peter on at some point. So I'll bug you to let you know when that's going to be because um, maybe you can come on here. I, well, I'll, I'll message you afterwards because um, I want to hang out with you and like be your friend. Travis says, stud alert, blocked. No, I'm sorry. That's an inside. It's not even inside. Is it an inside joke? Travis says stud alert to everything that I say and do. And then when I think he's not gonna, he goes, uh-oh, wait for it. And then, which is very funny. I'm glad you made it to that. I'm glad you made it here. I always am, I feel like I'm screaming. I'm always trying to get like my Instagram family to jump over to the YouTubes or vice versa. I feel like people watching on YouTube, it's very easy for them to jump on to um, Instagram, but not vice versa. Chance says, hey, James, I had to hop out unexpectedly earlier, but stopping back to say have a good one. Thank you so much, Chance. I really appreciate you. I did the same thing for you. I like got up and like left to go like get some food, or use the bathroom, and I came back. I was like, I'm sorry, I missed stuff. Thank you for jumping on at all. So Chance's House of Horror, y'all should be watching his reactions because if you like my reactions, you're going to like his reactions. Um, and then, like I said, you have to go follow uh, Gorgalore on Instagram. Fellow member Chance. Yes. So Chance, Christian, Richard, and Leo Cubbyholes are my my core four right now. Well, you're the core four and I'm the fifth wheel. So does that make me the the neighbor in part six, in Scream Six? I'm the neighbor who they, they don't trust. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um good. Christian already loves Chance's channel. I I I fall for people's personalities. And your opinion on movies. I, I mean, not opinion on movies, because if you hate something that I love, but you're funny, that's fine. So, but have a great night, Chance. Everyone say goodnight to Chance. So, well, I'll ask him this another time. Is it Chance like Homer Bound or is it Chance like the rapper? Uh, you might like Cat Watches Horror. Oh, I do like her. I I don't seek her out yet but I have not been let down by a single reaction that she's done. Um, but I, I like her stuff she's up as recommended all the time. I'm already subscribed. I, I already follow her. Um, she just did the others and I got a kick out of, uh, out of that one. There are so many movies I wish I could watch again for the first time. I think the others is one of them and I can't, I'll probably do like watch alongs. Like we'll, we'll do some watch alongs to those kinds of movies that I've seen before but I'm not going to do a reaction and pretend like I haven't seen it, you know? Um, <laughs> Chance says Homer Bound. Good. Smart. That's the right answer. Homer Bound. Although someone said that movie doesn't... Like, it holds up as being a movie, like a great movie, but someone said it's... Uh, un, maybe it's unwoke or something, and I'm like, I don't, don't ruin this for me, you know? Um... So I haven't seen it in a while. Her Return of the Living Dead was hilarious. Oh, I should watch that. I've only watched Return of the Living Dead once. So I, I, I <laughs> that'd be a fun reaction. She does usually new stuff. I don't see her doing older stuff. Um, well, Chance has reacted to at least three Argenti Argentino, Argento movies. Um, I still have to catch up. Yeah, I have to catch up. I have to do Demons 2. Um... How we're about? Why not Benji the Hunted? What is Benji the Hunted? Oh, I'm so D class A. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's it's ten o'clock, you guys. I I could I want to stay all night and talk to everyone, but I have to wrap it up. My fan bam is here, and I don't know if we've had dinner. Demons, demons two are. Oh right, I'm sorry. I'm thinking when I think of um, Argento, I think of just kind of even like his producing because he produced Demons. But yeah, directing I've not seen a single one of his movies because I'm a trash person. So Espan says, go. Just tell me what to do. Um, family night. Thank you all very much for this. This has been so great. I'm glad that I saw so many. I'm, I love when y'all jump on. See Deep Red. Oh, Deep Red. Espan, oh, not Espan. Christian, remind me of those. Remind, remind me to watch those, please. Please. Um, because I do want to get into more of that. So I do want to watch those at some point. Um, I shall. Thank you. So thank you all for jumping on. Thank you for becoming members. I have my core four. 
I'm five with having a, a, you know, five or six or eight or 20. So y'all will get early access to all my videos. We're going to have, we have like a, there's a whole separate membership tab. So when you're on my page, go to the far right and it says membership, you'll have posts and stuff that aren't anywhere else. So I'll probably let you all know before I'm going to, because right now I tell you guys in advance, like what movies I'm going to watch. That's going to probably just be the, the memberships thing. So I'll be like, Hey guys, in two weeks, I'm doing this. Or like, look at this lineup. That's all memberships. YouTube will be like, you know, one or two days notice of a reaction. And I want to do a little less, like, I feel like I'm bombarding you guys with stuff. And then um, I'm going to start this thing called discord. Don't know how to do that, but memberships, members will have access to the discord. So it'll be one singular chat instead of 15 chats. Cause my brain can't take it. Um, you get to be green too. Do you see the green comments and you have a badge next to your name right now? Everyone has Casey Becker. That's a picture of Casey Becker screaming on the phone. If you couldn't tell that is the badge for new members. And then I forgot what the next badge is, but there are many. Uh, and then you get the emojis of my face screaming. So getting my nuggies, Jamesy, how long you want for? I'm leaving right now. So go get your nuggets. And oh, Atomic, you just jumped on. I'm so sorry. You can jump. We talked about so much stuff. Famous people came in here. Um, they're famous to me, but you should go back back and rewatch this. I'm going to legit end this now because um, I've started my my goodbye descent and I'm ending it now. I'm I'm I'm. Goodbye. Oh no, I have to end. I have to end twice. Ugh. That's the most awkward thing. It's like, are you sure you want to end? Yes, I do. Okay. Good night, everyone.